So we're uh, demonstrating two of the models that is in the development stage for our toilet. And here we have the Western style. This has some extra features compared to the basic model. So if you would look into here, you see that there's a basically a visual barrier between the mixture of compost and feces and sawdust cover material. So when you would sit down on this, it releases this spring-loaded lever and then it spins the inside trap there. So it's ready to it's ready to defecate there. And after you've made your deposit, then you put as much sawdust or ash or rice hulls as you want. After you're done with that, then foot flush and there's a scraper right here. So the solids are scraped off. You can see below there, the auger is turning. That particular auger has knife blades on it to help mix the material up and mix it with the sawdust, make the particle size smaller and continue to move it along. So once you get to that point, then that's basically in this area here that you've just seen. Then from there, each time you flush, this auger continues to move a little bit. So this whole system up on the top holds about 120 flushes. Once it gets to the end then, it accumulates in the bag. And then the bag will hold approximately the same amount as the auger itself. Once the bag gets full, then the bag is taken off. That bag is set aside for X number of months to achieve pathogen die off. Or it could be taken and put into a, another compost pile, say with uh, food waste or something like that, that would accelerate the composting process. So this whole model is going to be priced at about $150. Now, we do have the, a simpler model with a squat version. It's the same idea in terms of the mechanics of composting, but it has the squat interface with urine diversion, washing, and an earlier model of the grinder. So this shows some of the transition that we've been doing in technology. But the concept here is to make your deposit and take a handful of cover material and put it in and then it's a footstep so you can see that the auger moves a certain amount and the grinding will happen when the compost material is obviously a lot higher than it is now so this model because it doesn't have the frills that the other one is going to sell for about a hundred dollars so what are we talking about in terms of the time period from the defecation to when it finally gets put into the bag. When it goes into the bag, it's about 120 flushes. So, how so that means that if you have one person, it's about 120 days. If you have 10 people, it's about 12 days. So depending on how many people you have, that will also dictate how long you have to store the bags before you have pathogen die off. Is there a critical length here? This is critically uh, designed for um, something that works well. <laughs> it, there's not a, a particular uh, reason it's a meter and a half other than that's a nice length to give us a prescribed number of uh, flushes in it. I mean, it'd be nice to have one that held 400 flushes. That would require a big pipe or a very long pipe and that means the cost would be doubled or tripled or quadrupled. That means that uh, the mechanics would have to be a lot stronger because that's moving the material, moving a lot more material each time you flush. So it's always a trade-off of economics and how it fits into a scenario and how many, how much detention time you can give it. How much, um, how much air is coming in there? Is it aerobic? So it is an aerobic system. In fact, that's one of the things that it may be too aerobic and drying out a little bit too much. But do you also have uh, worms or like compost type microorganisms in there? Oh, it's a typical composting toilet. 
And so that's what you'd have. Yeah. Don't the worms get damaged when you do the auger? Oh, now this isn't vermicomposting. No. This uh, doesn't have earthworms in it. No it could. Uh -huh. And and yes, I actually have had food waste composters built in this design, but no, the worms don't get all chewed up. But what's really cool with food waste, and this could actually be a co-compost, human waste, food waste, but the worms will migrate towards the food. And so that means that as you move it along at the end, then you have a finished product and the worms have moved. So the auger, as you see here, is quite open. So there's a lot of space for the worms to be in. And it's a gentle auger, it's not a grinding auger. So yeah, if you wanted to put worms in, why not? It's always fun to have worms work for you. <laughs> have you thought about uh, putting this into multi-story buildings with a chute that goes down? You know, there's a lot of options. Right now we're focusing on perfecting it for our single family residences. We've been asked about uh, schools, about uh, marketplaces, and I think that will come. Um, right now we're focusing on perfecting this and then we'll work on the next potential uses for the toilet. And yes, love to do multiple use, but then there's people that say, oh, how about if we have 50 uses a day instead of five? How is it going to work? That's something that will be a whole different scenario and we'll have to talk about a different storage system or a series of augers. You could have 10 of these in a row and then have an accumulative auger that would move it all out and have one single depository. And we've talked about that concept for schools. Good concept, but we're not there yet. It's not that we don't want to be, but we got so much else in development work that we'll get there. And what, does, what, do the, what do the users normally do with the urine? Okay, so urine, uh, and I think Marco's talked about this a little bit, but in this particular thing, then the urine and the wash water could be diverted together and then go to subsurface drainage or in Marcos's work, he's made raised beds, which are beautiful. There, you can use the compost as a soil amendment. You can use the urine and water for irrigation and you almost have to stand back because things grow so fast. It's perfect conditions. Secondly, you're, it's really easy to just collect the urine and take that out to an agricultural site. That could be a mini industry where somebody comes and, and uh, maintains the bags, takes the full bags off, put a new bag on, they take it to a central facility, they compost, finish composting, they sell it to an agricultural site. This new version of, of, uh, of uh, Western style will actually have urine collection here that snaps off. So when it gets full, you take it off and you dump it. Or it simply collects and then has a spout that connects to a subsurface drainage. So we're, we have lots of new revisions in plan for this.